If the Obama administration thought the employer mandate delay was going to help business, they thought wrong. Bob Westbrook says Obamacare is still forcing him to sell his CC's pizza franchises, and he's here to tell us why. Nice to see you, sir. Good evening, Greta. So why did the mandate force you to sell your three pizza franchises? Greta, I've been a CC's franchisee for almost 20 years, and I've always looked for a way to grow the number of units that I had until the passage of the Affordable Health Care Act. And what has that done to you? I mean, why did that force you to sell them? Well, in 2010, I was the president for my trade association, the Texas Restaurant Association, and it was our responsibility to track the uh, efforts of the House and, and Senate to pass that bill and then also find out what was inside it. The first thing that we did whenever it passed is take a look at the penalties that were involved because there were so many other unknowns within the 10,000 pages of, the, of that law. And so when I calculated personally on how it would affect me, I had 96 full-time equivalent employees at the time. And the penalty, which has now become a tax, was at the time calculated at $2,300 per full-time equivalent employee. Well, that came out to almost $221,000. My three restaurants were top performing restaurants within the franchise, and that would have cost me $78,000 more than what I made out of my restaurants in uh, 2011. 